legislation come to order if the clerk will call the roll. Councilor Here. Councilor Hart? Here. Councilor Raposo? Here. Councilor Here. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings and transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed acknowledged and permissible. Did anyone sign up for citizen for citizen input? No? Okay. Item number two is the minutes of the meeting. Uh, Councillor Raposa? Just need to make a motion to amend the minutes. There's a typo on the second line of the minutes from the February 15th meeting. Uh, Council Washington should now be Councilor Sampson. So I'm going to make that motion to amend that. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then motion, motion to, to approve. approve the amended minutes. Second. There's a motion to approve the minutes with a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Item number three, proposed ordinance, traffic handicap parking, uh, Earl Street South, 38 feet west of DeRosia Street, Garfield Street West, 106 feet south of Globe Street, Oliver Street South, 507 feet east of Broadway, Oregon Street West, 38 feet north of Short Street, Woodman Street North, 228 feet west of King Street. Motion for emergency preamble. Second. Motion for an emergency preamble. Was There was a motion and a second. All in favor? Roll call. Aye. Roll call. You have to do a roll call for that. Yes. Councillor Yes. Councillor Yes. Councillor Yes. Motion passed through all readings. Second. Motion passed through all readings. There was a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Do we need anything from the traffic division or you're all happy with us? Thank you very much for coming. <laughs> Appreciate it. Item number four is a proposed ordinance, um, it's amendment to the mattress disposal fee. Um, Mr. Denmead is here, if you'd like to come down. The ordinance change is to charge $50 for disposal of a mattress. So. Good afternoon, counselors. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, it, correct. We're actually coming, uh, we should have been here sooner. Uh, we're coming from behind on raising this rate. Most municipalities have gone this route uh, a lot sooner. Um, I got some packets I'd like to pass around. It has some comparables from other municipalities along with the rates that we've had for the past few years. and. Um, It'll, it'll break it down a little simpler, but um, with the cost, we have three vendors that we use, and each one have, has specific um, uh, they have specific guidelines of what type of mattresses they accept. Costs a lot of money. And um, <laughs> some Ace mattress, very particular what type of mattress they take. It almost has to be an impeccable shape. No stains, no tears, no rips. Can that be wet? Uh, superior mattress and hands up. They're a little more lenient. But as you come along this type of vendor, the price for disposal slash uh, recovery uh, it escalates. And um, along with the hauling, and one of the issues we have is handling. Uh, in Fall River, uh, unlike a lot of other municipalities, we have a collection system where some municipalities have drop-off only. And um, once it's brought to our facility, it's removed from one truck, sometimes moved into the trailer. <clears throat> this is done by staffing. It's logged into a computer, onto a sheet, and the administrative fees had up. And then sometimes with the trailer's full, the logistics problem comes into play where we have to stack and load these mattresses into a, another part of the facility until that until that trailer is uh, able to be uh, emptied and hauled away by that vendor. Um, 
but uh, and this has all happened since the the waste in textile uh, mattress and textile banned uh, back in November first, uh, twenty twenty two. We do have. Um, Can you talk about that band? You said there was a band in 2022. Yeah, back uh, November 1st in 2022, uh, the state of Massachusetts enacted a waistband. They have different variations of waistbands that have been going on over the years. Mm -hmm. And this one particularly uh, affected textiles and mattresses and box springs. They can no longer go to a, um, a landfill. So. <clears throat> We had to enact recovery systems for both of those, uh, organics also and in that, but we're doing mattresses tonight. Um, at that point, uh, we in, we had Ace and uh, we had another vendor, <coughs> excuse me, Superior. We had just put on into the into effect, and we were able to keep the the uh, the fees just around there. There was a lag in between enacting one of those vendors and uh, we had been disposing and recovering of some of these mattresses at a higher rate than we were collecting much higher. We're actually just recovering them, disposing them at a higher rate right now. Okay. Um, so due to that band and we're, we're coming up from behind the eight ball and we really need to in, increase this fee. Um, it's something that we put off way too long, far longer than we should have. Well, I, for one, understand, you know, the cost, but the concern that I have, and I just had a situation last week where somebody dropped mattresses off at the old Coughlin School. And luckily, they have cameras, and today many people have cameras. They got the first two and last two numbers on a license plate with their video camera and the type of truck it was. And at first the individual was told that they needed the whole license plate. But I was at a meeting and asked the mayor um, if he could have somebody check this because working at the DA's office, you give me the first two and the make of the car, I can pretty much figure out. And they ended up catching the individual who lived right near the school, did admit that he had dumped the mattresses there and paid a fine. But when we're not making things like that public, people think they can just drop them off anywhere. You know, so that's the hard part. Um, you know, that what is the ordinance if somebody drops off a mattress illegally? Um, and maybe the clerk can check on that too. I think if we're gonna raise it, then we have to make sure that we have an ordinance that if you don't do the right thing, that there is a consequence. No, there is a, the legal dumping is, is a fine uh, to $300. There's a, state, there's a state statute and a city ordinance that it's aligned with that. Uh, 2632 we're aligned with that. But, um, and we've been effective with some of that. Both. Have you been effective in collecting? Yeah, we have, we have. We have uh, we tracked a couple down. Um, one in particular, we had a, a, a home camera, a ring camera, where someone drove down. I believe it was um, it was one of the streets off of Swindell, and the the car came down. One one fella held the mattress on the roof of one on this side, the other fella on that side, oh, geez. and they released it. We had the plate in the front, and we, we got it. And just. Yeah, and they paid up. the fine. Yeah, they paid. And um, <clears throat> we had one that was on the front page of the Herald News, uh, Charlie right. Winnicker. Uh, he had a photograph of it. It was a chair in the middle of uh, uh, Atlantic Boulevard. And we, he took a photo of it. And we ended up, he, the person also left a bag. And um, we called him. He fessed up and paid the fine. Do but, you keep a separate uh, list of that, how much money a, you've collected? We, we we have a, <clears throat> excuse me we have a list in the uh, in the um, database for enforcement. Enforcement has a list of uh, the ones that uh, they cited, ones that were paid, ones that uh, were dismissed, or whatever the findings that, uh, come out to be. <clears throat> Councilor Kadim. Um, so I guess my question you kind of alluded to it. So the fifty dollars isn't covering the actual costs. For disposing of that, right? Because it covers it, it covers the cost 
of the disposal and hauling. Mm -hmm. it's, it's still in there We are with our salaries and everything else. We're covering <clears throat> most of the uh, administrative fees in there. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's covering our cost. The $50 will put us in a good spot where we could also have working room because, as you know, these, these escalate. Uh, mattress and box spring recovery is market. It all revolves around the market. Uh, week to week, the metals, the textiles, you have to wait. It's, if the market's volatile, they'll hold the textiles. They'll hold mm -hmm. the metals. They won't release them, so you have to have room. <clears throat> but um, we're looking now, it's probably going to bounce up again. And uh, these, they're going to escalate. It will, it will escalate. Like anything else, tipping <coughs> fees, everything else just keeps going up and we're going to bounce. But how we've survived, we had to, our rate being at this rate, we've had people follow people down 195 that were bringing mattresses in from out of town and follow them into our yard and report them mm -hmm. because our rates were so low. So we enacted another policy where we ID'd everybody. They would have to bring proof of a parcel ID, uh, a gas bill or something to prove that they actually lived on that parcel in the city because they were bringing them in from outside. And, you know, so this is where we're at. If yeah. we rate just our rates, there will be no reason for them to try to bring them into four rates. We'll be pretty much across the board. It will be even. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's where we need to be. So our taxpayers aren't funding for someone else. Yeah, my, my concern is I'll, I support the $50, but <clears throat> just, you know, having had conversations with the community that I work for, I mean, I know it's it's costing us more money. I know we initially put the $65 in there um, <clears throat> as a way to de, uh, de incentivize people to, to kind of dump with us. So if you were buying a mattress, you're going to go, whether it was Cardi's or furniture company, you would have that disposal charge Correct. taken care of so that they can incur all the costs associated with it. But um, having just further conversations, I know the cost has increased to, to really get rid of all these mattresses. So I just wanted to make sure we were capturing, um, you know, the fee is capturing all the costs associated with what we need to, to cover on our, our side in terms of, you know, generating additional revenues for that. I mean, and, and it's not, and I know no. we look at the $50, we're not generating uh, no. revenue. We're, we're covering our costs. We're so. covering our costs in <clears throat> labor, administrative fees, in, mm -hmm. in disposal recovery. It's just, it's incredible. And um, our hauling and handling is, is just, it's, we spend so much time bringing it. We offer curbside service, which is collecting these mattresses. Mm -hmm. Most municipalities do not offer that anymore. That's drop some, drop, it's all drop off. So we're picking them up. We pick them up. We will. And we, off, we will offer the service, um, the $25 mattress. If you have a mattress in good shape, you can bring it to us. We'll inspect it. And if it's. In great shape, we'll take it for $25. ACE has a separate, uh, we have a, a DEP grant. We've got a container from them. And uh, that'll be, it'll work out well. It really will. But um, we need to do this. It's just something that is just beyond that. Uh, well, I, I would, I guess I would really kind of, you know, push it back on them to see if, if you've identified and if you've done your analysis, if you feel like you're covering your cost, then I would say the $50. But... Um, if we're not covering our costs, I would I would support going going higher. But if you're suggesting and recommended fifty dollars, then I'd, I'd support that. You yeah. Yeah, I I, I, I think <clears throat> the council the council is correct, and and I think the fifty dollars is it will, okay. will cover our costs, and um, it, it it should not. Uh, then at another point we'll come back. Um, so, but okay. I appreciate you, that. You, I do. I'll make Councilor a motion. Did you want to add something? No, no, I'm not saying. I just wanted to find out if it was um, where they were able to drop it on the sidewalk and not drop it off at the loose. Right. Well, a mm -hmm. lot of them, too. He's, he's right. You know, Somerset, Swansea, they have to bring it themselves. So if they're going to bring it themselves and pay the money they're paying, they would bring it right here to us. And that's kind of what I think Mr. Demid is saying happened. I did um, suggest to call um, Mr. Young, who has the, the old Sam's Club, the mattress <coughs> place and he has someone you know he drops off to to some company because he deals with that but he could only give them space for maybe 10 mattresses this week maybe next week 20 you know what I mean um, so I know that they have 
uh, DCM has looked at other um, avenues of doing he was, this. He was very accommodating. He was he did everything he could with us, and he and he was he was great. <coughs> the volume was so high, right? And uh, it, it just he, he was willing to give it all the room he had left in each trail. It's it was it was we just we just had so much volume. As you can see, the increase over the years right. it just just keeps going up. I think this will regulate it a little bit, but um, I think it's uh, this is the right way to go. Okay, do I anyone motion. else have any questions? We motion to pass through first reading. Motion to pass second. through first reading. <clears throat> Did you second that, Council? Second. There was a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion to adjourn. Second. There a second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.